Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on hydrostatic forces on the surfaces. So let us first understand what is this hydrostatic forces. That means the fluid at rest. So fluid is in the form of gases or liquid and there is no any motion in between the adjacent layers of fluids. Now in this we are going to solve the problem about the vertical plane surface submerged in liquid. So first I will read what is the given problem. A rectangular plane surface is 2 meter wide and 3 meter deep. It lies in vertical plane in water. Determine the total pressure and position of center of pressure on plane surface when its upper edge is horizontal and first case coincides with water surface and second case 2.5 meter below the free water surface. So this was the given question. Now let us first understand the diagram related to the given data. So if we observe this is the type of hydrostatic forces and the surface is in the rectangular shape and it is submerged in liquid in vertically downward direction. So here if we observe the breadth that is width is given as well as depth is also given. So what is width? Width is 2 meter for that rectangular shape and the depth is 3 meter. So first we have to draw here one shape which is having width 2 meter and depth 3 meter. Now there are two cases. So what is the first case? So its upper edge is horizontal and this upper edge coincides with water surface. So we have to show here the water surface and along this water surface there is the upper edge which is in the form of horizontal. So we have to show this horizontal surface. So this is the diagram. Now what is the question? So question is that we have to find out what is the total pressure and also we have to find out what is the center of pressure. So let us first understand what is this total pressure. So this total pressure is the force exerted by the static fluid on the surface when the surface is in contact with fluid. Now here the fluid is water. So here that is the force exerted by this water because why this force is getting exerted because this water is in contact with this rectangular surface. So we have to calculate this and what is the center of pressure. So it is the point of application of the total pressure. So here is the point that we have to show. So we have to define this center of pressure in terms of distance from the free surface of water. So this surface of water we will say that this is the free surface of water for which the upper edge of this rectangular plane surface is coincide. So here from this free surface of water this is the center of pressure. We will say the distance is h dash and now we will also show here the center of gravity. So for the center of gravity we will say the distance from the free surface of water will be h bar. So this is the diagram that we have to draw. Now we will solve first what is the total pressure. So total pressure F is equal to formula is rho g a a h bar. Now here what is rho that is the density of water. So density of water we know 1000 kilogram per meter cube. Now G means 9.81 then A area. So what is the area for this rectangular surface that is B into D that is 2 into 3 and what is the H bar. So H bar is the distance from the center of gravity from the free surface of the water. So this definition is important. Now if we observe this H bar is we have to divide this total distance by 2 that is 1 by 2 into 3. We can also say 3 by 2. So when we solve this, we will get the answer 88,290 Newton. Now we will move for the next question that is the depth of center of pressure. So what is the distance of the center of pressure from the free surface of the water that is h bar. 
so h bar is equal to what is the formula so we will understand this formula first that is ig divided by a h bar plus h bar now this h bar that we already know then a means area that we also know now what is this ig so i to the base g is used that is i is used for the moment of inertia about the center of gravity of the area of surface so we have to first calculate the moment of inertia about the axis passing through the center of gravity so i will draw here the axis which is passing through the center of gravity and which is parallel to the base of this plane surface so what is the formula that is bd cube by 12 so this is the formula so we know what is b then what is d and then divided by 12 so its unit is meter raised to force because d cube means what it is also in meter b is also in meter so here is meter cube multiplied by meter that means meter raised to force so this is the unit and if we solve this or calculate this we will get the answer 4.5 meter cube so now using this we can easily calculate the depth of center of pressure that is h dash so h dash is equal to this 4.5 divided by a that is 3 multiplied by 2 into h bar h bar means 3 divided by 2 plus again h bar that is 3 divided by 2 so when we solve this we will get the answer 2 meter now we will move for the second case that is it is given that upper edge 2.5 meter below the water surface so here we have to show for this vertical plane surface its upper edge is horizontal and it is 2.5 meter below the free water surface so we have to show here this is the free water surface and the distance in between this upper edge and water surface is 2.5 meter and then again we have to find out what is the total pressure so what is the formula for this total pressure that is rho g a h bar that is h bar means the distance of center of gravity from the free surface of water now if we observe this we have to find out this total distance now how to calculate this so within this surface what is the center of gravity that is this total height divided by 2 that is 3 by 2 but here from the free surface of water we have to add this distance so 3 by 2 plus 2.5 that is equal to h bar and that we have to just change so we will again put the value rho that is the density of water 1000 kg per meter cube g that is 9.81 then area area that is area of this surface 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by h bar so what is this h bar 3 divided by 2 that is this distance only plus we have to add this 2.5 because h bar is the distance of center of gravity from free surface of water so this we have to add here so what is the answer that is 2,35,414 newton now again move for the next question that is the depth of center of pressure so here is the center of pressure and we have to find out the depth so what is this depth that is h dash now if we observe this diagram this h dash is again the distance of center of pressure from the free surface of water that means we have to add here this distance from this upper edge that is 2.5 meter so what is its a formula that is ig divided by a h bar plus h bar so this h bar that we have to calculate 2.5 plus 3 by 2 and its answer is 4 so we have to take here h bar is equal to 4 so what is this ig that is the moment of inertia about the center of gravity and its ig is bd cube by 12 and its answer is 4.5 meter raised to 4 now we will put the value so what is area 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by h bar that is 4 plus 4 so when we solve this we will get the answer 4.1875 meter and this is the answer